Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Nadir Thorns, back at it with another one. Um, today we're here with Tajay Davis. He's an artist, a photographer, dabbling the music scene a little bit, and even he's, he's working on clothes now. I'm Tajay Davis. I mainly paint right now. Photography, I'm getting back into it. Just been away working, doing a lot of different projects, and just staying consistent with my craft. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Born and raised, still out here in Newark, New Jersey, till I move. But you feel me? Even when I move, it's still Newark, New Jersey. Like, the bricks, baby. The bricks. The bricks, baby. Bricks. Let's get started. We're going to paint a little picture for y'all, and um, let's see how it turned out. When did you realize like you actually had like artistic talent? Because I was the president of a fashion board at my school. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the photography, I was modeling, I was organizing events. I just wanted something away from something that was fun for me that became more like work, okay. which in that, at that time was photography. I wanted a break from it. I wanted something that felt more free. Yeah. So what I decided to do was, I'm like, you know, let me just get some paint, some brushes. And the first thing I did wasn't even on the canvas. It was on like a old laptop, you know what I mean? Just in case for that. And from there, I was just like, I love this. I love the feeling. Yeah. I love what it brings. And my whole MO, with photography and painting, like whatever I do creatively, is to change some, change the perspective of others, you know? So with painting, I can do that without really using words or, you know, it's, it's, I want to bring up emotion and change people's thoughts. Yeah. I know not too long ago, you actually sold the piece. Um, you want to talk about how that came about and even like how that made you feel? I'm not going to lie. It's funny that you mention that because the first piece that I painted when I posted it, um, it was it was somebody you know actually, you, um, Nas. Oh, where? Yeah, he, oh boy. That's when I was painting heavily on cardboard, okay. and I'll talk about why later. But painted something on cardboard, and as soon as he saw, he was like, "Nah, I need that." And I was just like, "Wow," you know, I I really wasn't expecting that, especially something like one of the first things I post to the public. It got such like a good review, even if it was from a friend. It's just like. He didn't have to want to buy it, you know yeah. what I mean? You see somebody have, you see that one of your friends have a craft, and instead of asking for like a discount or like a favor, yeah. you know what I mean? You want to support them full heartedly. And I feel like that's hard to come by nowadays because everybody wants to be an exception. And even in painting, people want to be that exception. Like I, I thought I was going to be the next new, you know, reborn Basquiat, yeah, you know what I mean? Basquiat is the but I had to, I had to get away from that and, and be myself, you know. Yeah. But even then, just like expectations from other people and being an exception, you, you expect to be good at something off the bat. And so ten years ago, would you see yourself selling art and like actually pursuing a career in art? I'm not gonna lie, I never imagined myself like painting, painting. Mm -hmm. It was honestly nothing that I had in mind. Like I never, like you know what? I'll probably make a great painter one day. Like honestly, I just thought I could just make money off of photography and, you know, move on to different realms in photography. Like, oh yeah, you know, I'll do photo shoots. I have great ideas for sets and all this other stuff. But I didn't really know what I had as options leaving high school until it was too late. Like, had I known I could go to school for art, I would have busted my ass in, in high school because I care about art that much. Like, in high school, it was more so Damn, I gotta go to college. Let me pick. Let me pick what they have to offer. Yeah. What's one of your biggest pet peeves about? You know? Like my biggest pet peeves about like commission based anything, specifically art. Um, you get what you ask for, and if you wanted something more specific, why don't try it yourself? And that's not to be a dickhead or. That's you know what I mean? Not a little dickhead. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's the truth. It's just like. You see what I can do. You see it's my art style. When you ask for a commission from an artist, you're you're getting something new every time. Yeah. Like you saw something that I did there. That was a one of one. Yeah. Especially when you paint, especially when you draw like cuz even if you remake it it's not going to be the Even same if you thing. remake it it's not going to be the exact same thing. And a lot of people have this this mentality that, you know, just give me that. I want that, but mm -hmm. this. And it's just like you can't. That's not how that works. And a lot of I feel like that's just a generational thing, to be honest. Understood. 
and just how you were brought up because if you really expect things to go exactly as planned or your way all the time yeah. then you're gonna have a lot of like waking up to do a lot of disappointment a lot of disappointment a whole lot of disappointment. especially if you're gonna be asking for commissions from somebody an artist who's constantly trying to build themselves constantly trying to move forward like say i was doing flowers last week mm -hmm. that might be my thing but you never want to get stuck in one thing which is why i try different art styles like this yeah, i would never i feel like doing that you'll block your creativity you, you, you don't you, even realize what you're doing. even if you're a great photographer and all you do is like nighttime photo shoots, shoots. Or, you know what i mean indoor <laughs> yeah, photo shoots if you never change the lighting around if you never change your angles Play around something you just changing the outfits and stuff you you get in this place where you think you're great in reality you're just doing the bare minimum and you've got acknowledged for like the great bare minimum but eventually because if you were a musician doing that you would you would be done tips or any words of wisdom for not just painters any type of creative out there that might be watching this um what's some things you would want to say to them to help them get through what they do honestly my biggest advice for any creative because that's how i see myself because you know I, I bounce you know i still give each thing some time but i bounce but the biggest thing is balance like even though i said like i, I bounce and everything i've worked i've worked to assert i've worked i've put in years into photography I've, I've done it for about six six years and i'm still learning new things like you will never hear me tell me like i, I can never tell you like oh yeah you know i'm done like what else is there for me to learn? Like, I still I still have my weaknesses. I still have things I need to grow on. And I acknowledge that. Because like part of painting is just like that letting go. I got you. Part of painting is part of that like letting go feeling. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's one of the things I'm actually working on. Yeah. It's just allowing myself to feel more than a uh, constructive painting. Because most times, you know, you stress yourself out. Like, I don't know what to paint. I don't know what to do. But sometimes just putting a brush to the paper, well, the canvas is like the first step is just letting you, just letting it flow on its own, like just be it. If you're intended to do this wholeheartedly as a career, you're definitely going to want to look at like, oh, what's selling or, you know, what would people buy this? And But that that takes time to even find your audience. So don't even, don't even go into that with that expectation of, is this sellable is this is this something doable will people like it because you're always going to find people like just artistically and emotionally that feel the same way about something the same way you do yeah. if not exactly you know like on the dot like this is exactly where it made how i feel get it but you're going to find people who relate and you you'll be surprised who those people are honestly so we got the finished product for everybody you see here I tried to, you know, throw a little Basquiat, Salvador Dali a little bit, Picasso <laughs> in that bitch. You know, I got a little Van Gogh. You got that drip. You see that right there? That's that Van Gogh right there. That's, That's that Van Gogh. That's you see it? I don't think y'all see it. Y'all know art though. Y'all know that. You feel me? Yeah, I'm I'm now, I'm my man's did I say like, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is real art right here. Like, I feel like, I don't even know why I got showed y'all mine. This Chill, is dope. Everybody. We did this in like 20 minutes. If you peep, I kind of messed up with the colors right here. I got a little color happy, so I just tried to make it work. But yeah, it's just something like. Yeah, right oh, it's about the black thing? Yeah. Yeah, it's a closed eye. It's a person. Oh. It's just. I knew it. What? Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, also with bars. We got more coming for you soon. I'm gonna have all Tajay's information in the description below. Make sure you check it out. We'll be back very soon.